This is the second half of a two-part video series on the Employment Situation Report, also known as Non-Farm Payroll. In general, unemployment figures are a good leading indicator of the economy heading into a downturn or recession. This is because companies are quick to let employees go at the first sign of a downtrend. However, in general, unemployment figures are not a good indicator of the economy coming out of a recession. This is because employers are reluctant to hire when things first improve. Unemployment rates tend to remain high long after recessions end. Another important thing to take into consideration is the size of the labor force in the U.S. is growing, so the economy has to keep expanding and creating jobs or the unemployment rate will go up. The rest of the tables are simply the first table broken down into more detail. There are a few of these worth mentioning though. The first comes from table A5 and it is the section titled Part-Time for Economic Reasons. These are people that want full-time work but could not find it. When this statistic increases, it is a sign that the job market and the economy is getting weaker, causing more and more workers to settle for part-time jobs. The next one comes from table A which is the section for unemployed persons by reason for unemployment. And the section we want is job leavers. Job leavers are people that quit their job without having found a new job yet. When this number increases, it is a sign that confidence in the economy is increasing. The next is unemployed persons by duration of unemployment. This shows the length of time people have been out of work. Increases or decreases in the trend can show where the economy is heading. Also, large increases or decreases in a category titled less than five weeks can be particularly telling. Table A12, Alternative Measures of Labor Underutilization. The last two parts of this section show the unemployment numbers with discouraged employees and those that took part-time jobs for economic reasons added back in. Some economists call this the true unemployment percentage. The B tables come from the establishment survey. Table B1 and table B2 show the demand for individual industries and sectors. Table B1 shows employee levels broken down sector by sector. Table B2 shows average weekly hours broken down sector by sector. The far right column of these tables show the changes in these levels. This is an excellent tool to gauge demand for a particular sector or industry. If employment and the number of hours worked are increasing, it means demand for goods and services in the sector has increased. If the level of employees and hours worked are dropping, it means that companies have less orders to fill. Table B1 is pretty detailed, showing numbers for dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of different sectors so it is well worth spending some time getting familiar with this section. The B tables also contain a couple of tables for earnings and for number of hours worked. When earnings increase or people work more, people make more so they spend more, causing an increase in demand which raises GDP. When earnings decrease or people work less, people make less so they spend less and GDP goes down. So that's the employment situation report or simply non-farm payroll, a combination of two completely separate and sometimes contradicting surveys. In my next video, I'll cover a bit on other unemployment reports. See you then.